they play a little different style of softball. Um, more of a um, grip it and rip it, you know, uh, very rotational hitters. Uh, back in the past, they used to really love the inside pitch, and you, they're very vulnerable to the outside pitch, but they've done a better job of, of, of learning to adjust to that. So they've made some tweaks in what, uh, what he teaches, but, um, you know, they're, they're a team that's going to come right at you, and the fans are, uh, are uh, about ten times louder than what we have here at Hillenbrand, so you're just going to have to learn to handle the distractions, and like I... You know, like I've always said here, you have to learn how to be uh, comfortable being uncomfortable. And, and so I think the early innings of the first game are going to be very important for us. And I think as we go, um, things will settle down a little bit and play our game. Well, I think uh, from what I've seen so far is um, he likes to get you to chase up in the zone. So I think our pitch selection is going to be a big part of that. Um, and then I think, it, you know, we're going to try to make some adjustments with our hands and try to stay on top of it if we're going to swing at it. So. You know, I don't think she's overpowering, um, but she definitely tries to get you to, to, to swing at that little high ball that spins up. And so I think pitch selection, and, and for us it's going to be looking at some video and trying to find a plan, be aggressive, but it's going to change from, I'm sure, from inning to inning, game to game. The air's going to be a little thicker there, so the balls aren't going to travel as much as they do out at Hillenbrand. But, um, yeah, I mean, we're going to find out here real quick because we have to be able to, provide some offense and I feel good about this team right now. If you ever been in a coaching circle you're hungry no matter what. Yeah, I think that's a big part of why we do what we do. You know, we all like to compete and um, I'm a very process oriented person and that process always ends to try to get us to the College World Series and give us a chance to win a championship. Uh, there's a process you have to go through to get there and um, I think every team in the country starts off and that's where they want to end up and you know in Arizona that's kind of our, our standard to get to the World Series and play for a national championship. I've said this all along, you know, we try to keep uh, our staff um, with people that, number one, understand the game, number two, that that red and blue means something to them, and number three, with these kids, they've, they've been in the circle, they've been on the field, they've wore the uniform, they know what it takes, and so it's always an advantage um, to have someone like that that's, that it's, it's not just a job, you know, it's a passion, and to me that's what separates it. I think this team as a whole has just literally been taking it game by game. We have been through so many ups and downs, and of course our end goal is to make it to Oklahoma City, but um, right now we just need to really focus on Super Regionals against a great team. The weekend prior I was feeling a little out front, feeling like I just wasn't as connected as I needed to be in order to hit the ball square the way I usually do, and I actually set up a nut in the back in my backyard with my dad, and we just went back to the basics and hit off a tee together, and he's the one who taught me how to hit you know, the basics, so it was really good to just have him back out here, and I've had a great feeling going into this weekend because of my dad. Well, we're finally starting to get comfortable on the road, I think. Um, it's tough you, when you play in those hostile environments, and it's not going to get any easier this weekend. Um, they have a great home fan base, so hopefully we can kind of just stay within our core unit and um, kind of stick to what we know. Uh, they've prepared all year long. They have all the tools and the skills, and you know we've done everything to get them ready. They just need to go out and trust from here on out. But we faced a great pitcher in Bailey Corbello this last weekend, where she was a machine too, and she just kept chugging along. That you know, once we get enough looks at her, I feel like this team is a pretty potent offense that we can make those adjustments.